<laughs> yeah, these little ones are still growing up a little wet because they ate and when they eat they like to well play in their food so <laughs> they are just quickly taking a run outside because I think we are preparing Zach we are preparing for some rain it should be raining pretty soon just look at that tigers are still sleeping they haven't even gotten up there is Enzo getting up at least but we just might have a day or two that they will not be able to come outside so I thought let me just bring them out so they can take a run Zach Enzo just quickly wants to say hi. Oh. Enzo. But yeah, they're running in. I think they are getting a little cold because it's not that hot anymore. It was really hot and now I can feel the temperature just dropping suddenly. And uh, I think I must take him back. They were taking a nice nap before I brought them out. And when they heard me, they just got up. And uh, yeah, they want to quickly go for a run. <laughs> okay, right. Where is the other one? He is inside. <laughs> I can hear him over there, but... <laughs> Let's find him. Cut us way over there. Let me just see where he is. He is. Hmm? There. <laughs> yeah. You just need to speak and they will come to your direction. Zach and Sachis are looking after them for me when I turn my back. But yeah. They are already going back in. Well, Katas, are you ready for the rain? She said yes. Diego? Zach? <laughs> Diego, still sleeping. He loves sleeping right over there. That's his spot. But yeah, let me get these little ones in. Katas is going to get a little bit of a fright there. I'm going to have to use more fingers to pick them up. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to do two or three trips taking them in. But yeah, or I can just put the phone down and do it in one trip. So I think let me do that. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And like always, have a great day. Enzo, say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>
it's a little difficult. Wow, that was a huge shot. I guess they're mining here at the back somewhere. But in any case, yeah, I'm just going through. Pick has also been done. He was a little suspicious. He was the most suspicious one of the lot. But yeah, let me see. I still have to do Grandma Cat. And I did see her here. There she is. So let me do that. I'm going to do Grandma Cat and the Father Cat next. Just look how beautiful Fredness Cat in the world is. And I've also done little cutest cat in the world. She's also been done, so. <laughs> I must just work it out how I am going to do the father cat. But I think since there is weather on its way, well, rainy weather, they are all just inside here. And they are looking for a reason to stay close together. And that's great, that suits me fine, because there's no other easier way to treat them all. But yeah, let me quickly do those two, and then I should be done. Okay, this was really tricky, but I got it right. And yeah, I just had to feed them here quickly. Fenius cat in the world, all of them treated well, there were medication in case they should have even little Turbo. He ate it all by himself. Cutest cat in the world. Sissy cat. The, even the mother cat. Opal. They are all here. And I just started feeding, them, feeding it to them. And then they just all started showing up. One by one. Because, I mean, the mother cat is never around here. But yes, she is. Those two, well, they're always on the roof. Just look at cutest cat in the world. Absolutely amazing. And even vegetarian cat. Well, there he is, right there. <laughs> but it was very successful. They're still cleaning up over there. I don't know how it happened. But they were just lining up. The most difficult one was Pucky. He was a bit suspicious, but yeah, I actually did computer cat last night. Well, these little ones are just climbing around. Just look at that. <laughs> they were outside just a few minutes ago, walking around a little bit. And uh, yeah, let's just see where the others are. But I didn't think it was going to go that well. There goes little Puck. He's just running around. Enzo! Enzo is up already. Because it's just gotten quite a bit cooler. Okay, so, yeah, I keep on running out of memory. Because I use about a 128 gig memory card a week. And it tends to become a bit of a problem. So, yeah, sometimes when I make a video, it takes a few shots and 10 minutes can easily be, well, two gig, maybe even two and a half gig. It all depends on certain things. But yeah, if you're going to be making vlogs, especially daily vlogs, you will need a lot of memory on your phone. And um, yeah, a lot of people ask me, why don't you use a GoPro? I do have a GoPro. The sound is not that great on it. The, the visuals is perfect. It's amazing. I'd say it does what it's supposed to do. Absolutely perfect. I don't think it is a good idea to try and use it for vlogging. Well, the one I have. And uh, I have to say, this phone is making it possible for me to make these videos much easier. But I do run out of memory a lot. And that is becoming a bit of a problem. Sometimes I need to go and get a clip of a video. 
that I've made two or three weeks ago and that becomes a big hassle that really is a bit much to do to go back find the memory card because I've got a lot and then I have to put it back in the phone and then when you're doing the edit well the files that you had on there it's not found found then so it is not that easy to do it all on your mobile phone although I think it is working pretty well for me I've considered doing it on the PC but it is also a lot of hassles because now you have to search through thousands of files and uh, it's not always possible to display the video quality that the phone is able to take so there's a lot of things as technology keeps on getting better it is also making it worse because now you have to deal with different kinds of files and five years ago i made videos some of those files are difficult to play on a pc today or even on the mobile phone but i am doing what i can and i think i've learned a lot of things about vlogging that most vloggers don't even know uh, i've done this on my own and although i'm not really one of those guys that are always into the technology i have had quite the opportunity to see exactly how it works just look at that size of enzo right there absolutely huge people don't realize how big they are if he stands up like that he is way taller than a human <laughs> it is it's actually scary to see how tall they are <laughs> i think he's twice as tall as some people <laughs> so yeah people don't always realize from the videos how tall they are but yeah it's a nice that i can actually just zoom in like that with my mobile phone that makes it so much easier and i have to say the stabilization is nice but i have found that in the last week the stabilization just went off all by itself and something else was activated tracking systems and things now that's when you carry it in your pocket and it doesn't lock it does lock but it is possible for the settings to change on your mobile phone so there's so many little things that you have to keep in mind when you start vlogging especially if you are going to try and get shots like this where Enzo is now let me just go over there you know sometimes you have to be able to put the light on he's so tall he's just he wants Diego to get out of there because he wants to go and lie down there inside because he knows that when it starts to rain that is the spot to be and uh, then he can watch everything while there's no water gonna drip on him and uh, <laughs> it's funny how they think and what they know they are quite intelligent to be honest they are extremely intelligent but for the things that matter to them that's what they concentrate on so there he goes he's gonna go look for a little trouble he's willing to take a little trouble <laughs> now this one is is nice but well it's open on the sides and there is some water that comes in from the sides eventually so I think maybe I should close this up for them on one of the sides and just leave a couple of holes where they can see through yeah and I even got grandma cat just now and fed her also a deworming pole so she is also done all of them are they are all doing so great little opal she is always so comfortable <laughs> but yeah there is so many things happening here all the time i don't really know if editing 
if it's going to be possible to not edit my videos anymore I used to enjoy just starting a video making it about 10 12 minutes and no editing whatsoever but these days there's so many things happening here and uh, I kind of need to edit to show everything that is happening although I can't really show everything because there's so much that happens this morning for instance I was in bed and I heard a bird scream but it was a different kind of scream and it was not a small little bird it was quite a big bird I think it was I'll get to the name now but in any case and when I just lifted my head I saw that bird sitting right there screaming at Diego inside there and he did it for five minutes but I was sleeping and I didn't get up and when I just lifted my head I think it was a luri that's what they call it a luri but he's got a quite a long tail and he was sitting there screaming at Diego and at first I thought well let me just check if there's maybe another one and if Diego might have the other one but it wasn't he was just sitting right there screaming at Diego and I thought that was so funny but I only got two seconds of it and he flew off but that would have been something great to take a video of so I can only tell you guys about it it's not always possible to film everything but well, I'll do my very best to do it and yeah mother cat as well she was also treated just now she was a bit upset she couldn't believe it when I grabbed her in her little neck and just put the pole down her throat and I have to say those poles go down very easily it's not a pole that sticks it's kind of like it slides straight down and uh, yeah that's just something to keep in mind if you're gonna deworm your cats it's not as difficult as you might think I think the best thing to do is just grab them by the neck put that pole down their throat and then give them a treat and let them go immediately once you see them swallow because then you know they're not going to be as upset as if you try and make sure that it's down there yeah it can become quite a thing well it's time for the Tigers to take their nap. Enzo lost this one. Diego is still in the right position for the best seat in the house while it rains. <laughs> they just love it when it rains and they're up there. Well guys, I think that's it for now. Just look at little computer cats running, playing. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, like always, have a great day.